We are in West Virginia in our garage again, um, working on our Tacoma. We've got the canopy camper installed and we're gonna be putting a furnace in it today. What's the first step for us? So the first thing we're gonna do to get this set up with the canopy camper is we're gonna modify the parts that come with your Dickinson P9000. So we're gonna be modifying the deck fitting or chimney topper, this here. We gotta do a little trimming on some of the pipes. Okay. And then after that, we can get started on cutting some holes in the camper and using the fit kit from us to uh, get it on there. So this is a company that manufactures furnaces, stoves, all sorts of things for sailboats. Mainly for marine stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of their, like this is actually meant for a sailboat, um, obviously with the top piece being called a deck fitting. Uh -huh. And uh, with the way it's designed is that you're, the, the single pipe coming out of, the, out of the, the fireplace here is the exhaust and the intake. So your top is gonna be your exhaust come out here and your intake's down here. Awesome. Yeah. Well, well, let's get started. Awesome. The instructions are very clear cut. If you follow it word for word, it, it'll make it a very simple process. So, so those are Ren's feet and hands, I can tell. Yes, very, very official with you know, sandals and angle grinding <laughs> things. <laughs> okay. Take this piece off. Do not remove these nuts. Leave those on there. So don't take the don't Do take the backing take those nuts on. Okay. Leave those on as that's actually holding the furnace together. So and that's actually keeping these screws from falling back through the furnace, and you cannot get them out without taking apart the whole thing. So leave these nuts. The small pipe is actually the exhaust pipe, so we're going to reuse this pipe. The outside one we're going to discard. Okay. Good. They have these spacers in there that we also do not need to re need to retain. Oh, so, so these things, right? Yeah, yeah, they're just stretched out springs essentially. Oh, nice. Wow. They have around it. Well, yeah, that's nice. It's uh, flexible. Yeah. So what we're going to do then is that this pipe can can kind of collapse on itself. You yeah. know, we want to make sure that it's kind of fully stretched out as okay. far as we so can go. Okay, so it can collapse on itself a little bit. A little bit, yep. And once Definitely. it's once it's stretched out, we're going to be trimming about I think it's eight and a half inches off of it. Okay. Uh, oh, you let go, silly! Here. So we're gonna remove these three rivets first, drill those out. We're gonna kind of, we can bend this out of the way with a pair of pliers because we don't need this. And then there's three little tack welds in there that we're gonna grind off of the just Dremel. Hit it with the Dremel. And then this piece okay. and this will just slide off. Okay. And then we have a couple brackets in here we have to trim. Okay. And then, then, then that's done, ready to go. Okay, let's do so, it. Yep. So we're trying to multitask here a little bit. AJ is still grinding at that tack weld. And I am taking off the molly panel. I had to go out and pick up some parts at Lowe's um, that we needed, or tools more so than parts. And we got the propane tank filled up. Um, it's a, what is that, 11 pound propane tank, right? Yep. 11 pound Worthington propane tank is what we're gonna to need to fit in the Expedition Essentials propane tank mount. It's actually gonna mount right over there. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off too, I think. So Ben is uh, finishing grinding up the tack welds that we have on the on the chimney topper, the, the deck fitting. So while he's doing that, we're gonna get started on the taking the GP kit, the fitment kit, and getting it on the camper and getting our holes drilled in the camper for the for the fireplace. So the mounting bracket itself, it's pretty cool because this is your template for your holes too. So we're actually gonna put this in place where it has to go inside the camper and then trace our holes so we can drill the mount then. This is gonna sit right inside the pocket here. Bottom holes, 
The big four bottom holes are gonna be quarter inch drill bit and the top holes are 5 sixteenths or for, for the eight millimeter. You're gonna use a, a two and a half inch hole saw and you're gonna drill two pilot holes. The first hole and the second hole. And you're gonna kinda of go back and forth and do it slowly so that it'll come out as a, as a clean oval as opposed to just one single hole saw. So. We're gonna do our 916 step up drill bit here to extend these hole sizes because these are clearance holes for the nuts that are gonna hold our fireplace onto the mounting bracket. Now we got our holes drilled and we're still working on the chimney topper. We're gonna get our mounting bracket and the inside chimney piece mounted to the stove. What are you doing? The inner flex pipe, we're gonna run that through here now. To, like I said, just to kind of just to kind of stage it. This wonderful piece right here. And we're gonna kind of get it on here and lined up and everything. Remember the screws aren't tight, so we have a little bit of room to work with. What we're doing, why we're doing it this way is that we're, we're ensuring that that inner pipe is actually on the stove. So I made sure it was put on right there. And then we're kind of putting the rest of it together. We'll line it up. Once it's screwed in, this section will kind of keep itself together. And then we'll be able to kind of make it, obviously micro adjustments we have to at that point. Bracket mounts to the existing extrusion channels on the camper with M8 nuts, same hardware that's using all the IUCAB stuff. So we are going to go ahead and uh, and, uh, and we're going to clip my. <laughs> oh man, we're going to go ahead and stick our M8 hardware in there and kind of stage it. And it's going to go right in here to the channels. So we're going to stick it in. Put, put hardware in your channels. Stick it in Stage it in your channel. Quick view to seek a flex around here, just to make sure that we uh, we get a good good uh, weatherproofing. Just a small bead is fine, because we're gonna do it on the outside as well, so we don't have to go crazy on it in here. These screws are not tightened in, but they're held in by pretty much just by uh, force right there. These are on already, so we are gonna get this in the, in the camper. You've gotta stick the small flexi pipe through the big hole. You need your brackets lined up on the M8 hardware we stuck in the extrusion as well. And we gotta line up this four M8 bolts as well. Brackets all set. That's good. These didn't camp through cleaner than mine. These are just clearance holes for the quarter inch. Nuts that hold the uh, stove onto the uh, brackets for the for the fireplace. So what we'll do is once everything's mounted up and done, before we put our Molly panel back on, we will uh, use Seca Flex just to seal these up. All right. So now that we have the chimney topper, the main flange piece. Look at that beauty. <laughs> these are some bigger spot welds than we had last time. <laughs> We're gonna trim down these legs on the inside, these flanges here. And these flanges, we're trimming them down so that this can sit inside the top of the chimney, the outside chimney, the correct way. Then we'll be drilling some rivet holes and then mounting this to the top of the chimney after we get the chimney on the outside of the camper. This is it. This is the Expedition Essentials propane tank mount. That's just a push pin, like a safety push pin. pin. Yeah. And then your lock is right yeah, there. Yeah, you got a special lock right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to mount that to the existing value cab molly panel. And it's going to go right here. Chimney stack is done. Set some screws on this after we run the hose up through it and drop it down. We're going to set some screws and that's what's going to keep it connected. Washer on the front, washer on the back. And um, just four bolts, right? We're gonna take the topper off because we wanna remove that right now. And we're gonna get this on the back of the camper, get it Sika flex, get the bolts tied in, and then we'll take the topper and put that on top and then rivet that down.
I am tying, I am helping Daddy fixing his truck right. right now, and, 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 and the guys are here right now, Ben, Ben, and AJ. As long as this, you don't, we want to make sure this is not bent, because it needs to be able to slide over top of it like that, nice and clean. And then this is going to go down in, we'll line it up with the rivet holes, and you're done. Stack is on, riveted with the cap. We're going to hole saw the molly panel back here, remount it. We're going to drill out underneath of the value cap canopy camper here. It's nice you can tuck cables and cords back here, and we're going to be tucking the propane line and running that over to the other side, coming in that cubby, and then out around to the propane tank, and then we're going to fire this guy up before they leave so we can make sure it works first. <laughs> We've got a Lowe's really close to us and fortunately Lowe's has a good selection of brass fittings for propane lines, LP lines and stuff like that. You could probably save yourself a little bit of time if you think through it a little bit more um, and go on Amazon or maybe some online suppliers and actually find the parts you need but I found everything I needed at Lowe's. And I've test fitted the uh, Goose Gear boxes or the drawers back here and everything seems to fit kind of nice. What I did to solve that problem is I bought a coupling line or an extension line, a rigid line. So back in here, I've got kind of a loop. That's all coming out right here, going down and tracking underneath of the canopy camper. We've got the line coming back out. This is a flared female fitting here. So I'm gonna tie that into that nice fancy, you know, work of art that I've made and put that panel back on here and then this line is going to go up to the propane tank right here. Low pressure regulator installed here. I'm probably going to put an elbow in here just because I don't like this sticking out. If you look at the profile of the truck, it's going to be sticking out there and we don't want that. So we want this to kind of tuck down real nice and feed in behind here so that it's not rubbing on anything. And I've got a little bit left of this propane line, so I'm going to probably make a loop of it. So this is the Expedition Essentials propane tank holder, propane tank mount. And it all came out pretty well. I mean, it fit right on the back of this canopy camper. A locking mechanism right here, which is super sweet. And then kind of a backup safety pin um, to kind of keep things snug and fit. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to test operate this thing tonight. See if we can get knocked out. So AJ said, all I need to do is open the door. That's kind of like a little mini miniature fireplace. It's got like a gasket ring around it. Um, put it on low, hold the gas down, and wait, I guess. So this is the first time we've had gas in the line, so could take a little bit. Bingo. Oh, I gotta hold the pilot down. <laughs> we have fire in the camper. How freaking cool is that? All right, now I'm gonna hold this down for a few seconds, um, just like if it was a gas fireplace in your house, and let it uh, let it prime. Oh my God, we got fire. How wicked awesome is that? Yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like it's working. Let's let our finger off here. See if it holds true, which it does after about 30 seconds. And the Dickinson GP Factor furnace install is complete on the Alucab Canopy Camper. And uh, I'm super stoked to be camping in this thing this winter. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, looks great. Check in with you next time.